So I'm in my WordPress backend and I'm just going to install the My Arcade blog for Mocky Ads, which is a games online games place where you can get games, etc. So just going to click install now and I search for this plugin from the WordPress repository using plugins ads add new. So just going to activate it. And there it is, activated. Now that I've activated it, I need to sign up at uh, Mocky Ads. So I want to sign up here. Just click the sign up button. Now you need to fill in the form and agree to the terms of service and click send. And they'll be sending you an email uh, so that you have to click on the link, etc. Once you've filled in the form, um, you can see the things that uh, you need to get started. You can browse catalog or use the games feed. Set up your domain. So let's click to do that. You know, if we go into our WordPress backend, you'll see that we've got a new menu here called My Arcade. And um, there's settings, etc. So press settings and we'll configure it. So we don't need to change this URL. We need to put in our user ID in here and how many games we want to feed or leave it blank if we want all of them and how many should be published at the same time. So I'm going to say five and I put them on a schedule um, which might be 45 minutes between posts. No, I'll make it two minutes between posts and um, I want a little thumbnail as well um, no I'm just going to choose a category from here called uh, puzzles and I'm going to create that category I might get one called board games yeah so I'm going to select these categories and then I'm going to save the settings so I've saved my settings and I've got a message that my folder is not writable so I need to go in there and write the folder. So I'm just going to nip up to my web host now and shmod that file. I'm in my web host and the message was that the file inside WP content um, wasn't shmodded so we need to change those permissions. When I look in my WP content directory I can see that I don't actually have the folder that they've asked. So I'm just going to click on new folder and I'm going to call it thumbs as per that message that was in the directory. So now I have a new one called thumbs and I'm going to schmod it, change the permissions to 777 and permissions are changed. Now I'm going to go back to my backend. I've refreshed my browser and the message is gone. Now should the games be downloaded? I think we will say yes to that. So I'm going to save the settings and we're going to get another message now asking us to create a folder for games. Okay, so just go back in here and click to add a new folder called games. Make sure you name it exactly the way it's asked for by the plugin. Make sure you also schmod. Change the permissions to triple seven. And now we'll go back to our back end. Back here and refresh my browser. That message should disappear. There we have it. So now we've got some categories. So we'll move on to the next step. Now before we move on, we should really give them this uh, domain name that I forgot to do a minute ago. Got too excited doing other things. So um, need to enter our domain name verify the domain just going to download that file and create a blank file and name that as mocky html so just find that 
So I've just named that file Mocky HTML and I'm going to upload it to my site. Because it's such a small file, I'm just going to upload using the uh, file panel here. Uh, I'm just going to click to upload. <clears throat> this is a really good way of uploading things, uh, just using the control panel if it's only a really small file which this one would be. It's there and starting to upload and we're done. So we've uploaded it and now our domain has been registered successfully we can start to earn some money. I won't be earning anything from mine because it's only a test site. But we'll go back to the uh, back end and make some more changes. If we go back into our settings page and go to feed games, <coughs> we can see that it's downloading the feed and they found all of these games for the category that I want. So if I just, um, there's 48 games there, so I can just go to the next one called Games to Blog and it tells me that it's downloaded them all okay and we're done. But to display them, we'll need to, if we go to the site now, to display them, there's nothing there. So we need to actually alter our theme and put some code into the template files. Code that we need to add, so we need to go into Appearance and Theme Edit. And we're going to add this code to our Posts PHP file. So just move that, there we go, and single post. I'm just going to paste in that code in the post metadata area, which is here, and click to update the file. File's all updated, so let's visit the site. And there we have it. We've got our whole new game site. Um, we've got tags on it automatically. We've got the dates, we've got the categories that we wanted. Whoops, we haven't got the categories, but you can add those anyway. Um, and it's all there. It's just all downloaded and ready for us. And that took me um, less than 10 minutes, and I've never used the plugin before, never read the README file and had to sign up and do everything else. So you can get your game site out there as easy as that.